Okay, we're gonna tie a nice easy snook fly here. This is a uh, string bean snook fly. I'm gonna start off with a size two uh, hook, very small. I'm gonna start by wrapping our chartreuse thread on down. Nope, I cut that off. That's uh, not gonna matter too much. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna use some Flycraft fur. So when you grab the fur, you're gonna take a piece, gonna cut it out, and take another piece and do the same. So you have a decent amount of fur, then you're gonna grab the longer strands and you're gonna get the shorter strands off so it's not taking up too much bulk, just like that. Okay, and then we're gonna come on down and we see we have some very long strands there. We're gonna pull those out. And I might take some of the longer strands and make them a little shorter so we have an even taper there. And we're gonna make this kind of short. This, this uh, back end is about the length of the hook. So we're gonna cut it about right here and we'll tie that in. Okay, just like that. Okay, good. A little bit of spit will hold, help hold things back. Okay, and then we are gonna use some pearl estaz. We're gonna tie that in with our chartreuse thread. Come up to the hook eye. I'm going to put on a half hitch. That's a one time knot. I'm going to bring this hook holder on over. I'm going to put that in the cradle, the bobbin cradle, and then we're going to palmer this estaz around the hook. Okay, and notice how that chartreuse kind of shines through. I'm trying to keep all the all of the estaz towards the back of the hook so it's not getting tied underneath uh, my rotations here. So we're going to tie it like that so we get to about the front part of the hook right there and then we're going to tie this off like this. I'm going to come over one rotation like this and then we can do another couple of rotations with the vise. I'm going to trim this right here. Okay, good. So we're going to tie this down with a few more wraps. I like to actually trim off the top so that the fly lays, when you uh, put on the wing here, it lays a little bit flatter. I'm going to take this Take this flycraft fur again. I'm going to take off another couple of swipes here. Just like that again. We're going to pull out the under fur, pull out the longer fibers. And there's some little bit longer fibers, but we're going to make it shorter. Kind of like that. Okay, looking good. And this is another like hook length or so, or a little bit past hook length. You can tie in some flash if you want. I don't think it needs any flash. Okay. And then I'm going to tie this in at the front end. Make sure we have a nice chartreuse head. Sometimes I'll tie it with uh, chartreuse, and sometimes I'll try it with uh, red, depending on what what color scheme I'm going for. So a half hitch and then I'll do one, two, three Oop. and I'll do another one, two, three to lock that in. Good. I'm gonna tighten it down. Oop. A little bit of spit holds everything back. And then I like to use a UV uh, agent or a glue for the front of the fly. So this is a very thin 
UV agent. Um, and then we use a UV curing light to lock that down. Only takes a few seconds. Okay, good. And then I like to put another coat of top coat here. And this is available from the nail store. And this is a gel coat. These are not familiar with this. And this keeps this uh, UV coat from being too, too sticky. So that goes on. And this also cures with the UV light as well. Okay. And that's that. This is a string bean fly. And you could use this at night. You could use this on the beach for beach snook.